Hi, welcome. I'm Lulu and this is Jen. So happy that Jen's here doing this video with us. I'm still nursing a little elbow injury, so I'm not bearing too much weight on my right arm. So Jen will show you those variations. And this is a little short invigorating yoga class with some cardio bursts. Good for the metabolism and just to kind of get things going if you're feeling sluggish and you want to pick it up. So we'll begin right away in child's pose for a few grounding breaths. Knees are open, head is down, and we just bow down to breathe and to feel what, is it, what does our body feel like right now. Take a breath in, notice your low back. Take a breath out, feel that softening of the tissues of your, around your spine. One more, just fill up, easing in, nothing to do, nowhere to go. Sigh it out. Let your jaw relax. Ease into puppy. So it's just a little bit of a tractioning stretch for the armpits, for the spine. Take one elongated breath. You can even come to fingertips, in fact, to get a little more lift. Let the head relax, though. Ease the hands in. A couple cat-cows to warm up. Depending on what time of the day it is, if it's early, you might want to do a couple more. For us, it's the afternoon, evening kind of like right before the sunset time. So we're, we're fairly warm, but it's still good to get some energy through the spine, feel your breath, and also to just check it out. Just how does the body feel right now? How does your back feel? How do your shoulders feel? And it allows you to unwind everything from the day so you can just arrive right here because that's all there is. One more, big inhale, feel the neck. Feel the belly, feel your chin. Big exhale, push the floor away, hollow your belly. Lengthen and come to high plank. So we'll start with just a simple high plank on or off the knees. Jen will show you on the knees, uh, or off the knees. <laughs> and I'll be on the knees since I'm not bearing too much weight in my hand. And it's also just nice to wrap that belly in. Lengthen, we'll lower down all the way to the earth in five, four, three, two and bow your head a couple undulating cobras so root through your pubic bone significantly root your tops of your feet as well and just lifting through the chest to start slowly getting that back body a little bit more alive and back to high plank or forearm plank normally i would do forearm plank and again like i said um, i'm not going to bear weight so if jen do you like high plank or forearm plank better so we'll just hold Whichever one, you could drop to your forearms. And we'll add some little hip dips to start to work the obliques. Just a couple, not too many. You can go really low and kind of get that wrap in. Or you can be really subtle about it and just feeling this rinsing effect through the belly. As you keep long spine, add your breath, just about five each. Starting to activate through the obliques, the low belly. Three, two, and one downward dog. Ah, walk your feet to your hands, interlace the hands at the low back, feel your chest open, feel your head bow, flutter your lips, notice the feelings of your shoulders. You can bend the knees if you need, if you want. Just let your head go. Take a sigh, hands down, roll up to stand. Keep that stance fairly wide, arms lift. Big inhale, chest opens a bit, hands come down, low squat. Repeat over and over again for about 20 seconds, adding an optional calf raise on the top, tippy toe, or an optional hop. And we're halfway there, so if you wanna get a little bit of a cardio invigoration and throw that into your practice, this would be the time. Exhale on the top, light landings, butt back, you could go your own pacing. So Jen, you can go your own pacing and everyone at home, you don't have to go the speed, but you could go faster. Three, you don't ever have to hop to have a good practice. Two, hold the squat. One, arms forward, five seconds like this. Then we'll bring our arms back. Wrap the belly, feel the energy, feel that heat. Knees right over ankles. Hands interlace behind you and hold three two and bow hands down ah. walk it back 
lower down to your belly or chaturanga, you choose. I'm gonna hold high plank, up dog or cobra. Nice, so Jen's showing us cobra rooted through that pubic bone, meeting in down dog. Right leg lifts. Take an open hip to stretch one inhale through right side. Maybe close your eyes so you can see more clearly the feeling of your right hip crease. Now down dog kick. So hip points shine down. Right inner thigh lifts up. Knee to nose. A couple. We'll do 20 seconds of this at your own pacing. So getting that belly involved again. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hug in. And you could really go at your own pace halfway there. Go fast if you want a little more heart rate increase. Go slow if you want really to focus on that wrapping of the belly. Energize the right toes. Feeling it to feel it, not just to get it done. Last one, hold just for an exhale. <sighs> Plant the foot, so as stretch, left knee to the ground. Arms lift, let side stretch to the right to feel the length from the left hip crease all the way up that left side, left armpit. Bow over your hamstring, breathing out. Feel your right foot. Take one, inhale, lengthen. Walk your hands to the pinky toe side of the foot. Maybe bow if that feels okay. Just, feel, just go right to just enough stretch. Savoring into that sensation of delight. Back to center, re-bend the right knee. Lift the left knee off of the earth so you can root down that right foot specifically. Left knee lifts to the right elbow. So we'll do a couple obliques here. So you're wrapping the right side body up with the twist, right shoulder hugs in, left knee's hovered a little bit, so you can push off the right foot and twist the other way. We'll do another one just like that, slow. So feel that right shoulder engage, feel the root of the right foot, your butt's low to the ground, and you wrap. Now, you can repeat that exact move, it's challenging enough. Or you can add the twist here, and jump up off of the right foot. Maybe throw that twist in here, back to center, jump up. So you do not have to at all hop ever. Like I said, that doesn't work for you if it feels like it's aggravating something. You also can go faster if you want. If you want a little more heart rate increase, maybe both arms overhead. Three more, how about an exhale? And last one. Come right away to one leg Tadasana. Left knee lifts, outer hips hug in, right elbow to the left knee, rinse through, feel the belly. Three, two, warrior three is transition. Left leg back, arms back. If you want a little more arms forward, feel the left inner thigh lift. One reverse warrior, so it's a light landing here. Feel the reverse warrior. Rise to triangle, cactus arms, and flosses for that right side body. So triangles, so the right leg is fairly straight for this. That's it, lift through the right toes, pulsing down, that looks great, Jen. Feeling that left side body start to activate and turn on, five. Ha add a little gusto breath of fire like this. Three, two, one, rise to star. Let's face the, the front, or face the, our friends. Hi, lift, inhale, exhale. So very simple, squatting. Keep the length of the spine. You don't have to touch the ground if it hurts something. Back up to that calf raise. What we'll do is add that hop if you want. You can quicken it up, just get that. If you want that cardio hit, what if you're feeling sluggish or you didn't get your chance to, to work out today maybe, or maybe you did, but you want an extra little cardio hit. Again, you don't have to hop up. I don't want you to feel like just because we're hopping right now, you have to hop. It's still pretty juicy without hopping. No, it's gonna end, but can you feel the moment? Feel the power of your legs, the breath out. Last one, and hold low, arms lift up. Settle that butt in, open the knees. Notice the knife edge of your foot. Draw hands to heart and just close your eyes and feel your body. Feel the heart rate. Feel your feet. Calm yourself amongst that kind of heightened, energetic heart rate up experience. So the temperature of your body, feel your jaw. 
Sit a little bit lower, take one breath in. If you want more, come to the tiptoes, knees open wide. Last breath out, cinch in the waistline to elongate. Ah. Feels good that our body can move in this way. Rise up, nice. Toes in, heels out, butt back. I'm smiling because I'm enjoy that the body, we're, we're in our body. This is, in a way, this is the most fun part of the day, you know, just being with your body and stretching. Relax your head. <sighs> Hands in front of you, skater side to side. You could take this either to just a kind of a stretch, hang out where it feels good, or you can make this a little bit more active, swooshing through the belly, and maybe grazing the earth and make your, this your own. We're still sticking the butt back, that looks great, and elongating through the spine, rooting through the feet, so you get into your inner thighs. Just a couple more and then you can wrap the belly. Wrap the belly with the exhale. Next time you get to your right knee, pivot, we'll switch sides so we're facing the same, that'll just be easier. Right knee is bent, right thigh is strong, left leg is fired up. Arms reach forward, elbows hug back. So notice if there's a little over collapse of the low back, wrap that in, three more. <sighs> Inhale, <sighs> you can make it sound weird. Adding on, when the elbows come back, the knee comes in. Bam, 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 last five, four, wrap that belly, three, you could go at your own pacing, hold the hover in two, hold the hover in one, knee to knee, squeeze, plant left foot, thank goodness, option A, hands to heart, hinge and twist, low and hold, option B, upright cactus, wrapping the belly, butt back, feel the shoulder blades, so it's up to you. One's not harder, necessarily better than the other. This fold is a little bit more demanding on the body. Doesn't mean better, doesn't mean burning more calories, doesn't mean gonna make your body better. Just find one that works for you and stay still. Three moments, it's an exhale. Calming the forehead, feeling the jaw. You are done, bow. Make your way back through to down dog you choose. High plank, chaturanga. Maybe an up dog, maybe hold. Downward facing dog. I am one side down. Thank goodness we have a left leg. Let's lift our left leg up and bend knee. So take a couple of moments to feel your left hip crease. Push the left palm down. Nice adjustment. Jen dropped her left shoulder a little. That was awesome. Take an exhale. Notice. Notice the feeling. Now level it out. So left hip point comes in line with the right as you cinch that right hip crease back left inner thigh shines knee toward nose again and again you may do this kind of fast and get like a little gusto of energy there you might go slow and feel the process as you lift the belly and you might even quiver because you're so ignited five more seconds again own pacing more doesn't equal better we tend as humans living in this, in this kind of world today, myself included, thinking more is better. Oh, I didn't get that much stuff done off my list today. I'm not accomplished. Three, two, but that's not always true. Now hold and feel the wrap of the belly. Maybe even give your knee a kiss, chest forward. Three, two, and lunge. Yes. Right knee down, arms lift, side stretch to the left. Line of energy, right thigh. Right hip crease, right side body. You're not over collapsing here and you're not kind of back here. You're right in that point where you can feel that line. Take an exhale. Bow over your left leg. Straight the leg, straighten the leg for Ardha Hanumanasana. Point flex for the toes. One inhale. Crawl to the left pinky toe side of the foot. That'll get into the outer seam of your left leg and just bow as much as it feels good. Noticing that feeling. <sighs> Come back. Here we go. Left foot roots, right knee lifts. Really plant that left foot. So as you lift up the hands, actually, let's come back to this twist here for a moment. So feel that left shoulder and twist. Now, as you come up, one leg to Dasana, the right knee will lift, and you'll rinse the other way. Left elbow, right knee. Do that a few times. Moving back with 
hair, lowering, adding that twist. You can also bend and drop that right knee, actually, if you want it, or hover it, it's harder. And do that a few more times. Ha. Inhale, exhale. Next one, possible add-on. The add-on is here, add that twist, maybe push it up off of that left grounded foot. 20 seconds, you don't have to hop to be a good person. <laughs> if you want a little bit more fire, you can lift the arms up. Gives you a longer lever, a little bit more heart rate. You don't also have to touch the ground, you could stay halfway. You could kind of get a little hike off of that as well. Yes, I love hearing that. Exhale, five. Add that twist there, four. Ah, feeling the moment, feeling the power of your left leg. And one leg to the asana, the right knee lifts. Try to find steadiness. Twisting left elbow, right knee, just a little bit. My heart rate's up, so I'm going to try to calm down amongst the hold. Wrap the hips in. Ha! Ah, move through warrior three. Arms reach back. Just one moment, maybe arms forward if you want a little bit more. Root through that left foot. Energize the right leg. Warrior two, right into one reverse. So we have an inhale. Left side body stretches. Delicious, I love that pose. Straighten the left leg, cactus floss. Fa fascia flossing for the obliques, for the side body. You're going toward your end range, keeping the right shoulder. Sometimes I see this. You want to keep that right shoulder as lifted as the left, and you're choo, choo. You could add that breath of fire. What will start to get active is this right side body, the obliques. You could go slower. I like this variation, Jen. Brilliant. She's still getting that activation. She's grounded. She's rooted in the sand, and she is working her obliques with awesome form. Yes. Or you could do the quicker bursto. Neither is better. Three, two, and hold. Stretch. Feel the right side. Feel the belly. Open mouth. Exhale. Add. Jaw stretch. Rise up to star. Yes. Okay. Horse. Same thing. Come on down. Hop up. Or you can do that calf raise. About half the amount of time as we did the first side, so we'll just get right in there. You don't have to touch the ground. 10 more seconds. You can also come down and come to a calf raise. How about some exhales? How about an open mouth exhale? Holding horse in two. You got this one. Raise. Arms lift, hold the horse. Maybe come to the tiptoes, wrap in the belly. So I see this a lot, stay with it. Lower the butt as much as you want. I see this a lot, people get into it. Anybody notice what's happening here? I'm collapsing in my low back, low back not happy. Wrap belly, lengthen, and then you could lower, maybe tiptoes. So this is a little bit over doing it in the low back. Three, hold, we're still here too. Lion's breath. Rise on up, nice, yes. Toes in, heels out, bow. Give yourself, let's give ourselves one breath. Last side, we went right into the skater. This side, just give yourself a breath to feel that nice stretch, any variation you want. And again, skater it out side to side. So you got knees bent, you can rinse, you can rinse. Almost done on this side, let's take about five. You can stay low and work with the stretch, or you can move a little bit more briskly to get that fire going too. Let that neck be part of the movement. Left leg is where we'll meet. Pivot, root that left foot, fire up that right leg. Shoulder work, scapular stabilization, scapula stabilization. So the arms will reach forward, shoulder blades apart, elbows bend, spiral pinky down, and squeeze the shoulder blades, wrapping belly again. Inhale, ha, focus on the shoulders here. Your left butt is also burning, but focus on your shoulders. One more like that, ha, hug that in. Keep that action with the shoulders, friends. Add the knee, so arms forward, knee and hug in, bam. Nothing else is really moving, so you're working those shoulders. The left leg is bent. 
you got that squeeze of the shoulder blades and by bringing the right knee in you're doing a couple things one firing up that left lower part of the glute maximus two working the belly getting that belly on lengthening five exhale when you bring knee to knee four doesn't matter how much the knee comes up in fact you don't really need to bring the knee past the left knee two we'll hold the hover in one hold and squeeze three two right foot to left foot arms lift twist we got that rinse and I'm so happy about it because as you bring your hands to heart and you either rinse the elbow to outer thigh twisted utkatasana you might be familiar with or you're more upright or you're halfway hold it and feel the steadiness of the body but the movement from the previous energetic but gusto work that we just did so notice it's so cool to be still and take the time to be with it and this is a challenging pose you're rinsing you're constricting your diaphragm stay friends for one breath you've got it we're right there butt back chest forward rinsing and you are done bow hallelujah walk or hop it back through your vinyasa yay chaturanga up dog if you so desire down dog make your way through to sit on your butt yes sit all the way down on your butt hands behind you heels dig down oh you can even dig them in the sand if you i'm not sure how many are in the sand but chest up so rather than this you're here for our navasana and you might stay here and breathe and that might be excellent or you might lift the knees and keep it instead of this or you might straighten the legs wrapping the belly in and add here with the hands i recommend with the hands now some of you might think but i don't need to hold my hands down well the, here's a test here's the test of ruskies can you maintain this position with the legs up can you maintain the position with the hands up oh i lost it okay so that's your little test i actually need to pretty much hold it here but sometimes i just want to feel powerful and i do it anyway even though i'm not quite there yet three two belly hip flexors and hold it low lay down bicycle set left hand to the right thigh hold and wrap it in that other heel is down that foot or floating that's harder we're really slow here we're in slow motion slowly switch right heel down push that left thigh your foot on the ground is either there or floating that's harder three head you're just kind of supporting it with your hand the shoulders are lifting you're suddenly twisting it's harder slower now we'll speed it up a little bam bam that's option a push that thigh away push that thigh away take an exhale go as slow as you want i think slower tends to be harder three two now again left hand right thigh and hold isometric hold maybe straighten the left leg this time maybe straighten the right leg this time and push the right thigh away from you lift the right shoulder you can work the arms overhead if you still want more little inner side kiss and done Woo. we have another side left knee push right leg hovers hold the head for a moment not to like crank and do a neck thing but just to support it optional the right leg straightens and maybe the left leg straightens that's hard enough as it is especially if you cinch that waistline and wrap it in maybe work up toward that left thigh that you're tractioning away from you maybe both arms work above the head can you lift the left shoulders inner thigh kisses or 3 2 1 ah last one last one there's no burn like that you know so the legs come up and you'll just lower the legs as much as you can and we're going to hold it which is so annoying cuz you just kind of want to do all this momentum stuff but what we're actually going to do is we're just going to hold it legs are as low as you can wrapping the belly in hands behind head or supporting you down and all we're doing is holding I want you to take three breaths. I know you can do this. Big inhale, you can have the knees bent. You don't even have to have the legs off the ground. Two more inhale. That's a long breath. Exhale, look up. One more, feel the edge. Exhale 10 9 8 7 rapid in 5 4 
and done. Ah, good job. Awesome. Sometimes all it takes is a short little practice to feel that invigoration. Let's slow things down a bit. Bend your knees, palm the earth, lift up for bridge pose, shoulders squeeze. Some of you might want to do a full Urdhva Dhanurasana. I'm feeling like just kind of keeping it mellow. If I had a block, I'd put that block under the sacrum. Now, I want you to notice your butt cheeks and notice if there's a grip. So try this, ungrip it. So you might even, your butt might even come lower and you might even see it's going to tone, but ungrip, ungrip that squeezing feeling and put your notice into the lower part by your sit bones. Just notice that area as you ungrip the butt. Just bring your awareness into where the sit bones are, lower part of the butt cheek. Relax the butt. Maybe lift up a little higher if you can keep it relaxed. Stay for a calming breath and just notice. Notice if some deeper tissues start to turn on. <sighs> Exhale. And lower all the way down. <sighs> Feel that release on the ground. Happy baby rock. Just massaging out the hips a couple times. Maybe one leg straightens, maybe the other. I really feel that happy baby brings up that joy on the inner being a little bit. And it's just, it's playful, you know. It's silly and playful. It feels good. Crossing the right ankle over the left thigh. Figure four. Hug it in. Take a couple rounds of breath here. See if you can push the left, whether you have your hamstring or your left shin, kind of traction and push the shin into your hand and resist a little as you energize your right knee away from you slightly. Flexing a little through the right toes. Just take one breath there. Relax the back of your head into the earth. Sigh it out. It's so simple, but it's so good. Notice the side of your right hip. Legs slowly up the wall. Maybe shake it out other way. Left ankle above um, the knee. Flexing, energizing, give some traction there. So you can resist your right shin into your hands a little and see if that doesn't help to energize the left butt a little bit in a stretching way. And flex the left toes. Another thing you could do is bring your hand to your left big toe mound and resist it, traction it, and you'll get into that left hip. Oh. Left knee subtly away from you, but at the same time, relax. We're also trying to just soften and, and drop in a little bit more. Notice your jaw. Take another breath. Notice what's holding. Maybe something in your back is holding, and you, and you might have the capacity to soften it just by giving it permission to release a little bit. Legs back up the wall. Maybe shake. Maybe there's something that got moved around, stirred up, that you can release. Maybe it's an emotional thing. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe this just feels good. I just think it kind of feels good. <sighs> right knee hugs in, left leg long. Gentle twist. Right knee crosses over and just cactus through that right arm. Or you can stretch it out. Now notice where the head wants to be. Sigh it out. See what you can do to relax the effort a little bit here slowly switch left knee in the chest right leg long cross it over just spending enough time for that decompression <sighs> hugging back in maybe you even just gently give yourself a hug and maybe you give a little squeeze so that you can contrast that with Shavasana as we lay our legs out. There's no rules for this. There's no right way. There's no wrong way. Exactly as you are is enough. I promise. So just let your body be. Let your mind be. Anything that comes up will go as well. The magic of this is just allowing just allowing yourself to be and knowing that's okay, knowing that that's enough. Maybe it's not knowing is the right word, but trusting in that. Trusting in the bigger kind of vastness of the world, of this mysterious world we live in. 
and just letting yourself be enough. Take a breath. Just sigh, melting in, feeling the body just melt into the ground. If you're feeling like you can stay and drop in for a little longer, please do. I offer you maybe turn off the, the computer um, or the screen so you can take a couple more, more minutes here. If you're ready to move on with your day, we'll just wiggle it out, kind of breathe, stretch, bend your knees and, and roll to your side. It's nice to roll to the side because it sets you up without this rushed feeling and this urgency feeling. And then it just rises you nice and slow, kind of leading up from the heart. And we'll just sort of face each other and face you. Um, we're here, we're with you guys. We're all in this together. So hands to heart. Thank you so much, Jen. Thanks each of you for joining in. Namaste. That's a wrap. <laughs>